of Tennessee lawmakers taking a look today at the use of emergency powers by Governor Bill Lee. This with the governor issuing dozens of executive orders since March because of COVID-19. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungar went to today's hearing and looks at their review. The House and Senate leaders convened the group to see if any laws need changing concerning the governor's powers and the pandemic. I will submit to you that we will have a much clearer picture of the needed adjustments in the authority granted to governors in 18 months from now. It began with what the legislative committee will be doing and what it won't concerning Bill Lee's use of emergency powers during the pandemic. We can talk about masks, football, schools, all that, and that, I mean, and that is a discussion for a time, but this is not that time. The legislators on Thursday morning called on a retired state Supreme Court Chief Justice and current Nashville Law School Dean for his opinion on the governor's emergency powers. I've read his executive orders, and while you haven't asked me for my opinion, uh, I'm going to give it to you, and that is that his executive orders are entirely consistent with the inherent power in his office and with the uh, power that you granted him. In Lawmakers often ask about their role in the governor's emergency powers. You've given him a blank check. If you're facing an emergency, it's defined in the statute, we're giving you broad powers to address that. The group plans two more meetings and a report when lawmakers come back for their full session in January. Reporting from Nashville, Chris Bungard. Thank you, Chris. Now, the governor's legal counsel is expected to testify at the next legislative hearing on emergency powers.